hi guys welcome to the channel uh, i know this isn't what i normally show i just gotta show you this because i've been asked this particular question quite a bit in various comments of moonlight blade video and that is is there gamepad support for moonlight blade i actually downloaded the official pc version of moonlight blade but it i guess had some errors because it didn't open properly so i have to resort to this i can't check if the pc client has gamepad support sorry about that but i have made a video about because over here at the right you can see dragon raja playing this is Dragon Raja, a different game. I have made a video about emulator of this. If you want that video, the link to it will be in the description of this one. The main reason why I decided to do this, actually this video separately, is because I want to show you guys what happens when you have two of these um, stuffs on. So you see my PC right here is at 100%. <laughs> if there's just one, it's like 60 something or 50 something, but with two of them, it goes all the way to a hundred percent right there. And if you are not on one of them, that one starts lagging a bit, just like how this one start, starts lagging right now. So that's only the downside you experience. To get away with all this, you will need a better uh, computer for all this. You will need a better computer. And um, yeah, so now I'm going to cancel Dragon Raja and we're going to get right into it. Right now, what you want to make sure is you've connected your gamepad and we can just go to this section right here and gamepad. You can see it's completely empty. That's why we couldn't move. I'm going to go right here and drag these controls right here for my left joystick. This will help me for the movement. So I drop it right there and that should solve my movement problem. Now I can move. But I cannot do any other thing. Nothing else can be done. So I'm going to go back there again. And let's see if we can change the directions by dropping this here. This is what I dragged. And I dropped it right in the middle. Right here. And save again. And there we have it. Now we can change directions. I think I should let, let you guys be able to see it. So you see how it is changing. You see right now L shows here. That's my left analog. And I have my directions right here but that is a little slow so i'm going to increase the sensitivity i think eight should be good oh yeah that's good <laughs> that's very good all right so we've changed we've gotten our directions and we've gotten the sensitivity now we're going to make the controls that is our combat we got to fix all of this and i'm going to go right here and just make it by left clicking just left click a little to the left so um, when it zooms back in it will be in the middle and make it x my default attack will be x and my jump will be a and my dash will be b that will be for my dash all right so now we have it our attack our jump and finally our dash so now we have everything we can move and do all that <laughs> all right now we're going to complete the other um, skills and everything just make it all um, okay so you can copy exactly what i'm doing right here just going to mark it all before it oh, it already disappeared and I'm, I'm going to try see if, if i remember it okay again and yeah 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 and here I think that covers it okay so this one will be my L2 and A and B now let's make this X that's better and I'll make this my right back and then this ones will be select and start and you will be I guess R2. Then I think there used to be an icon right here for when you get stunned. We will have to find the right location for it. And then there's one over here for counter after blocking. So that should be it. And then I think there's two more as well. I will just make it down with my analog stick and up all right let's see if we got it oh they need to be a little left a little left a little left there we go all right now we can actually glide 
that's good and now we can also let's use this cube perfect <laughs> we can do that the up the down everything is arranged everything is swimmingly arranged and that is all with gamepad though we cannot jump much with that one but we can do every other thing automate perfect i'm gonna maximize so that's everything right here i think i will also need to shift this joystick a little left and this right joystick a little right because that's not where um the removal of control skill is and i don't think this is where <laughs> the counter skill is i will have to fix all of that in a bit but i will do that later i i am not confident actually using this for pvp I'm gonna see, because i'm not used to any of this at all but anyway that's what i wanted to share with you guys i hope this has helped you understood how to play a moonlight blade with a gamepad you can play this game with a gamepad but you will still need your mouse for a lot of other things you can't just use the gamepad for P maybe pvp and dungeons that's what it can use for maybe when you want to relax now that aside if you want to remove all these um stuff all these icons on the screen you go back to that settings and you go over here show the key map prompt in games on market save and there we go we have our gamepad moonlight blade without us actually you know using <laughs> using a keyboard to play all right let's go down anyway i hope this video has helped you guys that's all i wanted to share with you and thank you so much for watching if you have any questions comments suggestions or requests please drop them down there in the comment section i read all of them i'll respond to you if needed or make a video if necessary again thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in the next one and take care guys